Turn by Team Europe, number 15, Izzy. Team Europe will take over the first down.
This is both a place kicker and a punter is back. Well, there are a pair of Americans. Here comes the punt from Magia off his left foot. Decent distance. That one's going to skid around the 28, and Team Europe is going to cover that. Shotgun snap. And after a little a eight and a half minute 73 yard drive for the first score of the game. And he does hand off again up the middle. They are. That was a good tackle there by Nick Reno. He shot like out of a cannon out of his linebacker spot and met him right there in the hole for no gain. Najee Curry's got to be up around 10 carries already, Justin. He's getting a healthy workload. He is indeed. He is indeed. Bleeding on the three. To his left, two in the slot, two out wide. And he drops back. No attempt at a, a fake there and he is pulling it and running himself he gets a Very about close. five like it was a little close but no arguments shotgun snap to Knighton and he does hand it off to Najee Curry Curry gets a healthy chunk of yards there about seven once again we saw the read option he came to the right he saw the cutback lane to the left defensive ends have to stay home on the left side for team Europe they got to stop that cutback lane because that's here for team America we got one-on-one -on -one coverage on the top of the screen, so let's see if we may have a fade. The option. Hmm. I think we got a first down, though. That was an option play. We haven't seen that one yet. Ran the option to the wide side of the field, so nice play, nice play. Cohesion on offense. 
And Knighton and his boys keep on moving the chains. Pitch out right here to Najee Curry. Does he have speed to break it? He gets about two or three yards before he gets absolutely fumble. hammered. That was a fumble right there, Lewis. Yes, sir. Surge, he fumbled surge, that. Serge Kona, defensive back for Team Europe, forcing the takeaway there with a vicious, vicious hit. Late there on the turf there for a minute. I don't know if he maybe got hit in the head. Looked like he got up. He's okay. Just upset that he fumbled that particular ball. If you're Team Europe, you have to capitalize. Six foot two, 200 pounds out of France. Sine taking the snap out of the shotgun. Two in the backfield. And he throws it to one of them. Double a pass. very risky double pass. And it is completed. Team Europe pulling out their bag of tricks. Sine, shotgun depth, single back. One to his right, two to his left. And he does hand it off and nothing going there. That was a big hit on the sideline there by Team America. James Langford, a very big running back. Just play sheet there, Justin. Takes the shotgun snap. A lot of pressure off the edge for Team America and an outstanding tackle. That's going to... That's going to be a loss of about five yards on a pass play. Well, we saw a screen pass, but that's what happens when the receiver. Third and 13, Team Europe on the America 43. Sine with three receivers to the right, one to the left, single back. He drops back, and a lot of pressure from Team America. He's looking, he's pointing, trying to go the scramble drill, and he does go out of bounds on his own sideline. He's most effective of three drives so far this game. Their first drive with Mustafa Sine, a quarterback. He lets one loose with his right hand into plenty of coverage, and he is lucky that did not get intercepted. Well, that's smart to knock the ball down for you, American. You would have been in bad field position right there. So, good good play. Pat. I know you want to pat the stats. Okay. Shotgun snap. Quarterback drops back. A wobbly pass over the middle of the field. His receiver outran it. This is Felix Joyner, a 5'10", 215-pound back to the left. And a read option keeper. A really nicely executed play. Lamar Johnson leaked out to his left there after Team Europe bit on the run fake and got a nice chunk of yards. Absolutely good read there by the quarterback to, to, get the, to keep the ball. We thought he was going to uh, get the ball off to the running back, but he kept it. Smart decision. From 37, it's going to be about a 30-yard run for Lamar Johnson on the option keeper. Johnson shotgun snap. He does hand it off, and that carry is going to get about two yards. That was a good tackle there by number Felix Joyner getting his first run at running back as Raji Curry filled in so capably. Najee Curry, rather. Lamar Johnson with another keeper breaks out to the right. He is a terrific athlete. Has not shown the same arm strength that Knighton has, but... He is a terror when he picks up the football. Well, if you're Team Europe, you have to make that adjustment right now. You see he's coming in. and Erica driving, 11.55 remaining in the half ball on Europe's 14. A chance to extend the 7-0 lead. And an option pitch here to the left. Joyner does not have much room to spare. Team Europe read that one correctly. So I'm, I'm wondering when we're going to see a fade route here soon. Second and 12, Johnson shotgun depth. Joyner to his left, four wide. And he throws it outside, and that was going to no one in particular. Had two receivers in the same spot on that particular play. Made it very easy for the defensive bat to just basically mirror both guys and get in between and break up that particular ball. Quarterback was late. He 11-20 remaining. Ball on, America, on Europe's 15 for America. And there is a crisp pass. It was on time, and it was in. Hit, hit, score touchdown. This is a different kicker for Team America. Derek Vaca coming in. Kick is on the way. It is through the uprights, and that is going to be a 10-0 advantage for Team America. So Vaca gets the field goal after Giorgetti handled the previous kickoff and the previous extra point attempt. Got to give some credit there to the. You know what you're going to get. You're going to get a lot of zone reads, so got to get the defensive line ready to roll. Giorgetti on the kickoff. It's going to go to about the nine-yard line. And Tim Vizzi, the wide receiver, showing a lot of speed there, Justin, getting over to the middle of the field. Right. Running back rotates over to his right. And he's going to get it to Vitti and... 
a big hit there after about one yard of positive gain. Some hard hits out here on these screen passes, Lewis. Vizzy. It is a safe bet. One in the slot, two wide to the right, one to the left, single back. Sine looking downfield, and the defensive back is there, makes the play. Rashawn Roach. Excellent break on the ball there by him. Receiver was open. Receiver was open. Quarterback just simply overthrew him, and he made a good break on the foot. A larger back than Curry. Drop back for Lamar Johnson. He's looking to pass, looking to pass. He does release it to his right. Almost a terrific catch, which was to his left. Here comes Johnson again out of the shotgun. Single back, four receivers. And he hands it off to Joyner. Joyner gets about struggle I've never known, Justin. <laughs> me either, my friend, me either. And pass to the right. It's a good read by Team Europe there. They saw the receiver coming up to block him. He shed the receiver block, and he got there and stopped that screen pass. So good defensive stand there by Team Europe. Deep for Team Europe. So different from what we see from Team America when they are two guys deep. Nice punt. High arcing punt, and that one is going to be a fair catch. Issues, Justin, you think about the TC Speller. Mm -hmm. Ball hit him in the back earlier in the game. We'll see if Europe can show a little more consistency there. And there was a bit of a, a fake. I think that was maybe a busted play. We saw the running back go up the field, but even. That's where my eyes were following. I'll totally. Rafa Sine still in a quarterback shotgun depth. One back, four receivers, and he's throwing to his left. That football is there on time, and that is a big-time strike. Beautiful throw. Beautiful throw, Lewis. He got some mustard on that particular one. Got the ball down the field, cut through this win, and excellent catch as well. Defensive back was right there. That was not bad coverage. That was just a good throw and good catch. Number 88, Curtis Walker, 6'2", Bucky with two. Mm -hmm. Most people, you have to say, okay, well, he's 6'2", wearing what lifts. <laughs> Here comes Sine. Pocket collapsing, Team America pressure, and a nice throw to the outside. And once again, it is Curtis Walker, and he got blown up near the sideline. He did indeed. This was college football. He probably would have got ejected. It looked like he led with his crown and his helmet there. So, Is inching closer to field goal territory. He'd be about a 48-yarder, which is not a guarantee. And as I say that, an option handoff just got smoked. Number seven, Oliver Pryor read it. And he drove him back. He lost yardage right on that particular one. Let's see. America challenge. And Mustafa Sine, shotgun snap, and outstanding interior pressure ends up leading to a sack there, Justin. Big number 92, the defensive tackle for America. Eugene Lancaster, listed at 6'4", 340, is the one who blew that one up with the pressure on the inside. And he is a huge, huge man, Lewis. My goodness, he is here. Mustafa Sine still out of the shotgun. We have not seen him go under center once this evening, and he is throwing high arcing over the field to his left. Another interception. Uh, and Justin, that's where you like to see the defensive back knock it down, right? Absolutely, absolutely. I know we love to pat the stats. Back when I was playing, I was a defensive back, and I love to pat my stats. But you got to be smart there and knock the ball down. You got your team down. And interior handoff here. It's big Andre Lamar Johnson has. And Knighton taking the ball out of the shotgun near his own end zone. He hands it off to Murphy, and Murphy gets nothing. He loses yardage there, Justin. And this is where we see taking shotgun snaps becoming a problem. Absolutely, absolutely. You got to wonder here, a Team American that's got it. Shotgun snap, single back for receivers over the middle of the field. The pass was there on time, Justin. Fuentes deep near the back of his own end zone. And not much pressure on him, and he does put a high arcing punt out there all the way to the 50-yard line. And nice it is Tom Vitti again. Nice return on this particular Tim Vizzy, rather. Tim Vizzy. Saw Team Europe, they did not rush, like you said. They set up the return, and they got the ball out to the uh, Team American 20-yard lines. Sonny Weishaupt in a quarterback for Team Europe, his first action. We've seen Matthias Lillehoog. We've seen Mustafa Sine. And now it is Sonny Weishaupt. And 
Weisshaupt hands off his first snap. Team on coverage across the board. Weisshaupt drops back. Pressure on the interior. He can't go anywhere with it, Justin. He does not look one. Get back into close field goal range. Third and 17. The snap for Weisshaupt. He looks to his left, completes the pass to who else but Tim Vizzy. And Vizzy gets about a yard. That was a good catch, but... I don't think that's the play you want. Looks like it may be a little too long for the field goal kicker. Look like it to the sticks. Weissop drops back. He throws to his left. The receiver's open. It's just a touch over his head. Their two-minute offense looks like. Yes, sir. Let's see if they're going to run a little no huddle. Knighton takes the shotgun snap. He throws it deep to his right. An arcing pass. It's up. It's complete. Out to the 35. What a play. A th outstanding throw from Knighton in his single coverage. And Justin Kenyon brings it in. One-on-one -on -one coverage, receiver got down the field, got field, got position, boxed him out like a power forward does in basketball. Went. 150 remaining. Knighton takes the snap. He drops back, surveying the field. Some pressure, breaks to the middle of his pocket, out to his right, throws off of one foot. Again, that is a touchdown. Back-to-back -to -back plays by Justin Kent. Not in the red zone. They didn't even touch the red zone. They sailed right through it. George Eddy <laughs> puts that one right through the uprights. He has his second PAT of the game. about to hit this one with his right foot for Team America. He strikes it. It is going to go to about the 10-yard line, fielded cleanly by Vizzy. Vizzy breaking right to left. He gets to the outside, and his balance gets the better of him, Just One wide to the left, one wide to the right, two in the slot. Weissop takes the shotgun snap. He's looking a ton of pressure over the middle, and that is... Number 53, our man Devin Myers, Justin, with the quarterback sack. He was the guy that was loving the National Anthem before the game. Absolutely. Mr. Intensity Absolutely. during the National Anthem. And he came out, he gave the Eaton symbol. If you if you got to get the ball out your hands quick here, man. Got Those guys are coming quick. Weissop seems to be freezing a little bit under pressure. And he throws a to his left. And that oh, football man. looked like it was stripped, Justin. Was it in the hand? I've... I don't know if you want to give him another minute left on the clock. Here comes Weissop with a snap. He throws it deep to his left to... Europe is late getting a guy out there. Chris Carter and Andrew Givens both deep. This one is not going very far. It skids around the 44-yard line. Drives He does have, out of those three drives, he has two touchdowns and a running back fumble. And Knighton throwing deep. What an arm out over the middle of the field. It was in his bread basket, Justin. It was. It was. That field and get deep. Excellent field position for Team America. And a quick dump off pass to Najee Curry, who's in the game. Look for a timeout here. Coverage again. So let's see if they go back to that. Knighton drops back. Shotgun snap. Throws to his left. Crisp. And it hits the abdomen of his wide receiver, Ronaldo Mitchell break a thumb and a throwing hand. Oh. That is what they call bad luck. Absolutely. Knight takes the shotgun snap, drips back. Another throw to his right. This one is behind his receiver, but it's caught and bullied into the end zone. What strength. You know a second was? consecutive drive to Justin Kenyon. <laughs> and drive is the appropriate term because Kenyon got the football. It was a little bit underthrown by Knighton at about the five-yard line, and then he just drove himself right into the end zone. What's it drive there? Capitalized on the good field position. 40-second 40 40 drive results in a touchdown pass from Knighton to Kenyon. And that kick out of Vaca splits the uprights. A 20 America on a field goal drive, showing outstanding mobility and speed. Here comes this Giorgetti kickoff. Not a squib. It goes to about the six yard line. And a fumble. A, fumble. a fumble on the return. Team America with 11 <laughs> seconds left. The last two drives have been 25 second and 17 second drives. Or 25 and 40 rather. Knighton evading pressure, drifting to his right, throws it up. A wide open receiver and a touchdown pitch and catch for Team America. That was just miscommunication back there in the secondary for Team Europe. Defensive back is looking at his safety saying, where were you? That was your part of the field. We was in cover two. The middle two were to Kenyon. That last one to Chris Carter. Wow. 
Zero lead, Team Europe kicking off right here. The right leg of Phillips Freeze Anderson launches the football downfield. Team America setting up the return, going left to right. It's Justin Kenyon who had three touchdown receptions in the first. Had some stacked receivers on the outside of the left there, Justin. And a keeper to Lamar Johnson, and he is lightning fast. Breaks out to the outside, a run of about 13 yards before he gets forced out of bounds. Not a bad play to lead the half off with. No, but if you're Team Europe, you have to know what's coming. When Lamar Johnson is in the game, he is going to look to run first and throw second. So you have to be aware of that. Lamar Johnson receivers in that sort of triangle formation are out to the right. And again, Lamar Houston immediately looks to run. And this time, he's going to get forced out of bounds for a loss. Team America was ready that time. And my guy, another receiver, two out to the right, single back to the left. That's Najee Curry. And they do try to go to Kenyon behind the line of scrimmage. Johnson takes the shotgun snap. He evades pressure, and the pressure will bring him down. I have a good friend. Just Tom Vizzy. Just, just Mr. Vizzy out set to return. And that punt is a nice dart into about the 19-yard line, Justin. He did not mess around. Oh, absolutely. Lil Haig comes out, and that is picked off on the sideline. Pick six to start off the half. Team Europe, it does not get much worse than that. EJ Frayne just happened to be in the right position as Matthias Lilhoog was trying to find TC, TC Speller on the outside. And that is the danger of throwing to the sideline. To get your head turned around, you have to find a way to catch that or knock that ball down. That is the third interception for Team Europe tonight. Is when that happens. Kind of interchangeable. And that kick goes to about the 10 yard line. Mr. Vizzy with it once again, trying to break it through the center. He breaks one tackle, gets out to about the 29. Not a great field position. Handoff looks to have some space tackled near the sideline. Hogue under center, actually taking it from shotgun, single back to his left. And he looks to run this one. He's got some space, and he's going to get the first down with his feet. There you go. There you go. Get a first down. Ooh, a little it. fight on the far side uh -oh. of the field. Orlando Fisher, number one for Team America, tangled up with a European and came up. Might have run very much. And he is out of the shotgun here. Two to his right, two to his left, one back. He throws it to his left to completion for about four yards. Curtis Walker, that's that big receiver that had a, had a nice 25-yard reception on the left side of the field earlier in the game. Want to get that ball down a little bit lower. It's kind of hard. Second and five, 10.34 to go in the third quarter. Here's Lil Hogue. Takes the shotgun snap, and he bombs this one. And to Vizzy, it looked, Justin, like there might have been holding, but the offense standing up, looking around, quarterback just getting back on the field. 9.43 to go. Lil Hogue takes the snap shotgun. Significant pressure up the A-gap. He does complete it, but that is only going to be – that's going to be about a loss of one yard for Mr. Vizzy there. That saved some sack yardage, Justin, but he really – JP, did you know that is what you call someone from Denmark, a Dane? I did not. You dropped some knowledge on me, my friend. I did. Some, some geography going down here. And that punt goes in an all-star game. Let's, let's preserve <laughs> this young man's health. And then after that, they started bombing it with David Knighton. So Ooh. a vicious, vicious tackle. Najee Curry got thrown to the turf, WWE style. He is hurting, Lewis, seeing the trainers run onto the field. That was a body slam. Right, two wide receivers to the right, two to the left. Handoff to the left, some space, some room up the middle, and a nice hard run. Back and very stout, low to the ground, so good run by him right there. Here comes Lamar Johnson, feeds him again to the right, nothing going for Jonathan Metz. I think he lost some yards right there. Looked like he lost about at least three to four yards in that particular play. One to the right, three receivers to the left, one back. He throws it to the left, short little dump off pass to Kazim Air. He's six foot seven, Lewis. He is the tallest receiver on this roster, Lamar Johnson. 
fill in for him. Shotgun snap on its way. Pitch to Metz. Metz running hard, but he gets grabbed behind the line of scrimmage again. A nice tackle made by Nick Renya. He has been all over the field for Team Europe. So I love to see him still playing with that passion and enthusiasm. He's not letting the return here see if they can give Mr. Vezzi a chance to get to the end zone. Here comes the punt on 14 off the left leg of Nicholas Fuentes. And Vizzi fields it around his own 25. He cuts back for a little bit, finds some space up the middle. He's brought down, taking the shot out of the shot, taking the snap out of the shotgun. Fakes the handoff. No, he runs to his right. And he finds a little bit of territory out of bounds. Just an offensive tackle. Lil Hogue takes the snap out of the shotgun. Looks to his left immediately. Now he's looking to run up the middle. And again, the Team America defensive line is there. No space whatsoever. Well, Lewis, I'll tell you what, that particular play, quarterback just had his he, As soon as he got the ball, his feet started padding. Four yards back. He, he does actually hand the football off this time after faking the handoff several times. And nice one-on-one -on -one tackle on the outside. Ends up being about a gain of one yard for Charles Bowers. Stay home on the back side. Saw the defensive line. Team America with two returners back. Here comes Freeze Anderson with the punt. Launches it with his right foot. Tight spiral. Actually outkicks the coverage there. A near fumble by Team America. Field threat with his arm. Shotgun snap. Single back to his left. He looks right for a quick pass. That very easily could have been trouble. Quarter went by quick. That is the score we went into the half with, and it's the score that will. Big Andre Murphy trying to turn the corner. You had the goal. space, you know, <laughs> more so in track than cross country. You get spiked a lot in cross country. Here comes Knighton dropping back. Pass over the middle of the field is on the money. That was a dime throw right there, dime throw. Jonathan Metz? No, sorry, Daryl Mitchell. Couldn't quite tell if that was number eight or number nine, Justin. I do have a... Knighton waiting for the snap. He gets it, and he does hand it off to Murphy. Murphy cutting left. He's going to get about three yards before being brought down. Now, Justin, educate us. What do they call that when there are three receivers that are sort of lined up in mixed depth like a triangle? It kind of depends on what people refer to as. Some refer it to as a bunch formation. It's not really a bunch. One back to the right as well. Solitary receiver out on the left. And again, a handoff to Murphy. And Team Europe, very physical gang tackling there. About a one-yard gain for Murphy. And even though the Europeans are down by 38 points here with 13.55 remaining in the game, they are staying. That's about it. They played a well game, very good game. Knighton drops back, throws to his right, and that one is nearly picked. <laughs> Fourth and six confronting Team America here. They look to punt. Comes off the right leg of Ben Willard. That one arcing inside the 20, bounces out of out taking the shotgun snap, single back to his left. And the interior pressure brings him down. That was an immediate collapse of the pocket. A feeding frenzy for Team America. Well, Lewis, it's not good when your offensive line is standing up looking at each other. Europe just aired out right now. Get the ball down the field. Mustafa Sine dropping back, shotgun snap. He throws it over the head of him with pressure right now. We'll see if that continues. He gets the snap, and the pocket collapses immediately. Sack, fumble. Will America recover? They do. Number one, is he going to get into the end zone for the fumble recovery? He does. Touchdown. stand up and not rush, but hey, this is an all-star game. Those guys out there trying to show how good they are, so. Right hand up in the air for Giorgetti. He gets set, strides toward the ball, smacks it with his right foot. It is sailing to about the 12-yard line, a shallow kick. Here comes Speller. Speller with some speed, almost gets to the outside, but Team America with a kick coming quarterback. We'll see if he's got happy feet after getting 
blasted that last series. Quick throw to the right, finds Vizzy in the flat. Vizzy gets a block, and he gets to the outside. He gets about six yards. Europe would love to feel like they didn't get shut out. They would love to see the ball get into the end zone and a miscommunication there on a handoff field. Sine gesturing with his left hand. Immediately looks to his left, immediately runs to his left through some devastating pressure. And it, a series of Team America defenders getting into the backfield there. It is Vince Romano finishing off the play after games. Punt coverage set up. A rainbow long snap. Not much pressure. Team America not trying to block a punt here. High arcing punt. And a tackle is broken here in the backfield. Team America getting to the outside. There's going to be a tackle at about the 42-yard line. A nice, healthy return. Good return. Good blocks. Chris Carter, number 84. He's been back there and punt. Return all night. Finally gets a big one. See what type of offense Team America. Knighton catches the shotgun snap. He hands it off to Metz. And Knighton takes the shotgun snap, and he does immediately hand it off to Felix Joyner. Haven't seen that often tonight. And it is Knighton running the ball himself. Reverses field, gets up through the middle, and that is a massive run. No one in the building was expecting that. You throw two guys into the backfield, and it's the quarterback who ends up rushing the football. Well, it was an option play, triple option play. Joiner to his right, two in the slot, two out wide. And that one goes to Joiner. He bounces it to the left, breaks a tackle, gets it to a bounce back to the left. Knighton takes the shotgun snap, hands it off to Joiner, and Joiner gets about two yards on the ground. Helps a read option. It's eight seconds. They got to snap the football. Quick handoff to Metz, and Metz gets two or three yards, and he finally gets brought down. Team Europe late in on a tackle. And there's a Gatorade shower. And that is going to be a wrap here, folks. Thank you for turning in, tuning in to the Europe America Challenge here at Doug Shaw Stadium, one of many football games coming on this weekend in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. It is officially Team America 45, Team Europe 0.